Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am in a different setup. I know it looks a little weird. My camera's extremely far away from me now, which actually means I need to grab something. Because here's the thing, I cannot just rely on my viewfinder anymore because it's about five feet away from me right now. So um, I ended up taking apart my vanity. If you guys saw my makeup collection video that I posted, I think it was at the uh, beginning of June maybe. Um, so it's been almost, it's been two months now. Wow, geez. Whew. Um, or at least I filmed it at the beginning of June. I don't remember when it went up anymore. Um, but I kind of showed you guys how my vanity setup was then, and I kind of knew that wasn't how it was going to stay. Um, so maybe in the new year I'll do a new one. I don't know. I'm not going to do one any recently just because I just did that one. But um, I changed my setup so that now behind me there's just the one big desk with the two Alex drawers underneath it. I only have the five drawer Alex this, however, might be a problem now. I'm sorry if you guys see a cattail because Atticus is now fascinated with the fact that I took the little desk, as I was about to try and say. I took the small desk, I put the legs that were under the other desk under this one, and it's currently set up in front of it. So I've got about two feet of space here between me and the other desk. I've got my lights here, so I'm testing this out. It's not quite as bright as I would like it to be, but I am next to an open window, so that'll kind of make check-ins a little bit easier because I'll have to reposition myself this way to face. So it'll be, I'm, I'm still working on it. No guarantees. It's not the most convenient setup, but I can at least move this table back over on this side of my room when I'm not filming. So that's the thought process behind it. So yeah, let's do this, shall we? So today's video, because I haven't even talked about that yet and it's been like 10 minutes. Today's video is a full face, almost, first impressions. I went to CVS because there were a whole bunch of buy one get one free and I had a whole bunch of like $3 off Alme, Maybelline, Cover, all those things for CVS and I figured I would put them all together and do a full face first impression. Now, I do have a foundation in here but I'm not going to use it because I'm going to save it for the Foundation Frenzy Drugstore Edition that I'm going to be doing in the future so actually I'm gonna take that out of here. Someone suggested that I make that one like I might, but I kind of want to do 15 to keep it consistent. Maybe in the future I'll make Foundation Frenzy a little less or whatever, but not today. So I've got everything out in front of me. I just want to say, because there's three things I won't be using, but I do have a full face nice foundation because I have to grab a drugstore foundation. Oh my God, did I not buy a concealer? Hang on, I have a concealer I haven't used yet. Got a concealer I haven't used yet. Perfect. At least I don't think I have. I think I've just opened it. Yeah, I haven't used it yet. Awesome. Okay, so, minus the foundation and concealer, I have a full face here. So, yeah, okay. Things I'm not gonna be using in this video, I did pick up because I'm completely out of makeup removing wipes. I picked up two of the Almay ones to try. I've got the um, Ultra Hydrating Makeup Remover Cleansing Towelettes with Nourishing Rice Milk. And then I also have the gentle oil free ones um, with aloe, cucumber, and green tea for fresh, clean skin. Even our most waterproof makeup. That's what it says in all this. Okay. I did also pick up this. I'm going to put it into my like, skincare bin to test out because I had a $3 off of Garnier skin. And I picked up this. So I got this for free because the, this is only $2.99, I believe. And this is the Garnier Skin Active Moisture Balm Sheet Mask. So. I'm considering doing 30 days of sheet masks as my next like 30 day skincare thing and I would be starting it in August. So um, tell me down below, we'll go up at the beginning of September. So tell me down below how you guys feel about that. Anywho, I've got a whole bunch of things from CVS. Let me just like have a moment here. I do not actually have a brow pencil, but the eyeshadow palette I got has something in it that I should be able to use as a brow pencil. So brow color, so I should be good. Okay. Let's do this, shall we? We are going to start with eyes and yeah. So for my eyeshadow palette today, I picked up this. This is the L'Oreal Paradise Enchanted Scented Eyeshadow. That concerned me. Um, Just trying to slice it over. I finally have fingernails, you guys. <gasps> I just broke my fingernail. <gasps> no, son of a... I will have to fix that later because I've now chipped off this entire section of my finger. Wonderful, lovely. I need a band because I accidentally tore off part of my cuticle. 
I literally spent all night last night, like all evening. I didn't go out or do anything. I decided to stay home. And I finally got a new um, callus, not callus, uh, cuticle remover. So I was doing my nails and I got them all nice because I finally have freaking nails and then I do this shit always. I don't understand. These nails are so strong too. I'm going to have to strip the nail polish off of it and reshape it, cut it down a bit. But anywho, I'm getting off topic. So the L'Oreal... <coughs> Whoa, God, that scent. Okay, what is this supposed to smell like? Plums? Is that a... Is that supposed to be a plum? Because it smells like death. This smells like so sickly, sickly, sickly sweet. Um, maybe I'll take one of the looks out of here. They do give you four looks on the back, so if you don't know where to start, that's kind of nice. Um, let's go ahead and prime my eyes. So the concealer that I'll be trying out today is the BH Cosmetics Studio Pro Total Coverage Concealer. This is in the shade 100. Um, now here's the thing. Where can I put this that it's not totally in the... Oh, that works. Um... This might be too dark. Oh, maybe not. Maybe this is the right shade for me with summer. Sorry guys, I'm having major contact issues. Holy crap, ow. Um, I do have a face powder here and I'm gonna use this to set my... Okay, I had a pair of scissors. Should have been smart and open all this before I started. Okay, I got the face powder open. I just wanna set my eyes before they potentially crease. Um, so this is the LA Girl Pro Face HD Matte Pressed Powder in the shade Classic Ivory. This should work. It might be a little bit more yellow than I am, but that's kind of okay at the moment. Forgive me guys, this is my t first time filming with my new setup. So I have some kinks to work out, obviously just a little bit. I should have probably worked all this out before I started filming this video. But you know, I literally just, I got into a mood yesterday and I wanted to rearrange the vanity because some of the storage had been driving me a little nuts and it was getting really cluttered is the only word I can think of in this corner. So I just kind of wanted to, you know, do. I can't believe that July is almost over. I think maybe by the time this video goes up, it will be August already, in which case, what the hell happened to July? I feel like July flew by for me. Maybe it was because of Foundation Frenzy. I'm not 100% sure, but it felt like it was over so freaking fast. Okay. Oh my eyeshadow brush. My eyeshadow brush is right here. Okie dokie. Saying that with just the face powder puts it a little bit more yellow than my skin tone, but it's not too bad, like if I had foundation on, so, okay. So I'm going to go into this palette. Um, there's no names, there's only numbers on the back. So I think I'm going to start by taking a mixture of these two shades, the pink one here and the neutral one here, and I'm going to buff that in my crease. I'm gonna use a Morphe brush. I don't know what number this is. It came in like a subscription box or something. Well, okay. This is heavily scented. Um, I'd say closer along the lines of the original Peach Palette by Too Faced, the Sweet Peach Palette, but this is not peach scented. I guess it's supposed to be plum. And to be honest, I don't really like the smell of plums in the first place, so I'm not necessarily the biggest fan of how this palette smells, but I'll let you know in a few minutes if you can still smell it afterwards or not. So actually, one dip into both colors, that's pretty gosh darn pigmented. That's not too bad, you guys. That's not too bad at all. I do not know what is going on with my contacts. Um, I will say there's a lot of kickback. I've got a lot of dust all over this palette now, and it's all over the table in front of me. So keep that in mind. Okie dokie. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a mixture of this brown here and the dark, dark brown. I'm going to buff this into my outer corner. I'm going to do that using a Luxie 205 tapered blending. Oops, I just grabbed the wrong shade. It's not really a dark brown. It's more of like a purplish brown, which I foresee myself liking, but who knows? 
Uh, might be because I have that other shade now. Let's take a second too. Um, it's not horrible. I'd say it's definitely not the most mind-blowing palette I've ever used, but the pigmentation is really nice, actually. I don't think I've ever used a L'Oreal palette. Maybe I have. That might be a lie. I might have used one of the, what do they call them, the LA Nude palettes. I may have used one of those a very, very long time ago, but I don't remember it enough to say that I have for sure. I need to blend this out. For some reason, this eye is not looking okay, but this eye is. I don't know what's going on. <sighs> there was so much freaking fallout all over this table. <sighs> okay, the fallout's gonna drive me crazy. It's legitimately all over the table in front of me right now, guys, like really badly. Okay, I just cleaned off the entire palette on my leg because it was covered in dust. Okay, let me just take a second. Yeah, for some reason, I feel like this side looks weirder than this side, and I don't know why, because I did them exactly the same. I feel like this side's a little bit patchier than this. We'll have to keep going and see. Um, I am going to actually go in with, um, I don't know, do I want something pink? Am I feeling pink, or am I feeling goldy? Huh, that's odd. Okay, um, I'm actually going to go into a mix of both this shade and this shade that I just swatched here. They're both like really pretty, you can't even see those. <laughs> They're like soft iridescent shadows. Um, I'm going to pack them on using this BH Cosmetics brush. This is really just a gigantic shader brush. And... That did absolutely nothing whatsoever. Oh, there we go. Okay. It didn't all fall out on the table. I don't know. Maybe it just takes two layers with these shadows. I don't know, but that took a minute to build up and I'm just gonna blend it right there. It's just a nice everyday neutral look. I don't know. I feel like lately my col my eyeshadow looks have been either ridiculously colorful or very neutral and safe. I don't know why. Come fall, it'll be all about the orange and brown and khaki green and all that. So speaking of which, um, I enjoyed reading all your guys' feedback on the chatty get ready with me where I talked about a whole bunch of stuff. Um, and one of the things I mentioned was I was interested in maybe doing a second channel of some kind. Um, and a lot of people said no, they would be okay with seeing it on my main channel. There's a lot of spooky stuff I'm into and I would love to do that. I am considering doing Halloween makeup, but to be honest, special effects makeup has never really been my strong suit. So I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, today for eyeliner, I'm trying out the Maybelline Master Precise All Day Liquid Liner in brown. I got this in brown? That doesn't look brown. I got this in brown, seriously? Yeah, I got it in forest brown. Because I think, ooh, 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 ooh. Here's the thing though. I just swatched this on my hand. This looks black to me, unless I'm totally, you know, totally, totally nuts. Wait, what the frack, why don't you focus? Focus. There it goes. That's black. That's definitely black. Okay, well, mm -hmm. I'm going to, I need like a really close mirror actually. I can't, problem is this is too tall to put in front of, well, maybe I'll just put it off to the side. I'm just going to put this right here while I do this. I'm sorry if you guys have a hard time seeing, but Actually, that was pretty fast. The only thing is, when you try and put this over an eyeshadow, it the shadow color clings to the liner and it makes it really hard. So, I'm gonna do the other eye. Maybe I'll do it off camera. Yeah, I'm gonna do it off camera. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, so really quickly, I want to say that this is an awful eyeliner. <laughs> this is absolutely awful. So this side, you guys saw, went pretty well. 
Um, unfortunately, I had to turn my camera off because it was overheating, but I went to do the other side and it crashed and burned. Like... <laughs> my problem was that there was no like this side looks so much better I mean it's still not amazing but it could be worse this side I just what happened was that there was no product whatsoever at the tip of the brush so when I tried to like even practice on my hand nothing was coming out until I laid the whole thing flat and then all the ink was in the end of this so the problem is you've either a gotta store this always like this and there's no way to do your eyeliner from this angle to make sure that there's product in the tip i think the problem is the tip is way too big like this is a really long tip for an eyeliner pencil and maybe that's what's doing it i don't know let's do some mess i had meant to open everything and then i got distracted by the eyeliner okay sorry guys okay okay so um, today I am trying out the Maybelline Lash Sensational Curvitude. This is in the new display at my CVS, but I feel like this might not be new. I do like the brush for it though. I am a big fan. This reminds me a lot of the uh, Benefit Roller Lash kind of, sort of. Okay, I'm gonna twist, curve this all the way in. Now. Let me just take this out. I foresee myself needing false lashes since I did winged liner, but we shall see. Mm. I don't know, guys. Maybe I need to try this without having winged liner. Maybe I shouldn't have bought the winged liner. Ah, oh, that's what's happening. Okay. Okay, I know what's happening. I can't. I didn't explain what was happening, did I? So it works really well on like my eyelashes up to this point. And then the entire outer corner, I can't get mascara there. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not fantastic. It's not mind blowing, but I've had worse mascaras. Um, I did not get the waterproof one either. And I did get it in the shade black, I believe. So here's the other thing. I don't exactly have an eyebrow uh, pencil. So um, here's my thought process. My thought process is that I take this shade here, but this shade here is not dark enough. Might have to find a drugstore eye pencil. Okay. I'm going to go in with the CoverGirl, what do you call it again? The CoverGirl, ah, he has no name. The CoverGirl version of the Dip Brow Pomade. And it just happened. Okay, so I guess instead I'm gonna try using this Tarte Eyeliner Brush. Um, hopefully this works. I don't remember how I felt about this pomade. I know I've used it, I just don't, you know, remember. And to be honest, I'm really just going to focus on the tails of my brows. It could be this brush, though. That's the problem. I don't know if it's the brush. I don't know if it's... Okay, I need an actual brow brush. God damn. What happened to mine? You know what? I think I have a bin of dirty brushes somewhere. I bet it's in that bin. I'm pretty sure. I have strong feelings. Okay, um, this is not even sticking to my brows. It's almost like it's too waxy. It's like it won't adhere to the skin under my brows. It will only adhere to my brow hair. That's weird. I don't remember doing that the last time I used this. Nope. This is going in my bye-bye bin. And I've used now two different brushes with it. It still makes no difference. He's going in the bye-bye bin. I don't know where that stupid brow brush went. That makes me so pissed right now probably on the floor or something or in a drawer somewhere and I just don't know where okay um let's go ahead and do my face I'm going to use my L'Oreal True Match in N1 Soft Ivory I do also have the shade C2 which is C2 which is natural ivory just kind of my winter shade this is kind of my summer-ish shade it might be a little bit too yellow for me right now though not 100% sure okay whoa I'm going to just go directly in. I forgot primer. Well, oh well. Too late now. This is such a good match for me right now at this time of year. 
I feel like I am looking hella shiny right now. Okay, why does this look so ghostly? Maybe it's just taking a minute to absorb to my skin, who knows? To warm up to my skin, absorb into my skin. And I'm gonna go in with a little bit of concealer. Whoa, this is darker than the foundation. I'm just taking whatever is left and dabbing it there. Okay, this sponge is ridiculously dirty. I don't know why these things are absorbing more than normal things do. I'm going to really quickly set my under eye with the powder. Same powder as before, the LA Girl Pro, which I don't entirely hate. And I'm being very careful and just doing the under eye. Normally I would go and say a little bit that's a little bit more brightening, but this is the only powder I've got right now. But I do have a new highlight. This is the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Glow Highlighter or Illuminator. And this one's in the shade Moonbeam. I haven't seen these before. They finally just got this into the I don't have a Walgreens near me anymore. I don't have Rite Aid. I live in the Chicagoland area. This looks oh. Oh, oops, I just got this all up under my... I mean, there's kind of a glow. I feel like it's not doing a whole lot. And the problem is normally with liquid highlights, like with the um, ColourPop ones, for example, I'm able to actually, you know, like, fit my sponge into here nicely. I feel like this is way too glittery. Hmm. And it's clinging, like it's just grouping. The actual product itself is bunching in places, which I don't think is the best sign. And I'm not putting it where I put the powder. The powder is over here, not here. I don't know. Maybe that works better as like an over the lid, all of the lid thing. I don't, don't exactly know. I'm gonna go ahead, set my entire face using my Morphe E3 brush. Go in. Set everything. This is a mattifying powder. The only good thing is the highlighter is still coming through. I think the powder has reacted weird with the highlighter. Let me just zoom y'all in real quick. Um, it's doing weird clumping. Which I just managed to blend all of that out. It's doing, but only on one side of my face. Huh. Okay. I don't entirely hate this powder though. It's a good color for me. In the summer, it's a little bit yellower, yellowy, more yellow than usual. So I've got, I've got two blushes, but I do have a blush that I actually want to try using as a bronzer. This is the Toasted Cinnamon Blush by Burt's Bees. I had a uh, buy one, get one free going on for Burt's Bees at my CVS. So I want to try using this as a bronzer, I think. I just want to really quickly swatch. I okay, that should work. As long as I have a very, very light hand with it. Again, this is Toasted Cinnamon. This probably would also work as a blush for, holy fudge a duck. Hold on, look at that. Look at this. It just, it's powder every freaking wear. What the heck? I do not remember things from the drugstore doing this this easily, ever. Okay, this might be an awful idea, but we're going to try it. Okay, actually, that is not the worst idea in the world that I've ever had. It was a little um, powdery, like there's powder all over the freaking place, but it dusts off really nicely so that it doesn't, yeah, oh, I went in a little hard on this side. Like how it came out on this side is great. My forehead appears a little intense, so I'm going to go back in with some of the face powder and try and smooth that out. I don't know if I can save this side. Mm -hmm. That worked. It's not the best bronzer, but hell, it seems to work. And then just because I don't want to try two Burt's Bees products, I'm going to save the other blush, which I got in Bare Peach. I didn't want to get pink because I own so many pink blushes. But I did get the LA Girl um, blush in Just Bare. So, okay. Well, here's what the blush looks like. It looks really pretty. 
really pinky peachy. Okay, I'm going to grab my random blush brush with no name that I put in my favorite brushes video. Ooh, actually, I don't entirely hate this. I've never tried the LA Girl blushes, you know, so I kind of had, I, don't, I haven't tried a lot from LA Girl in general, but this is not that bad. I feel very summery bronzed right now. I don't have another highlighter though, because I only bought the one hoping it would be nice and it's not. Um. I'm gonna add a little bit of my Makeup Revolution Triple Baked Highlighter in Goddess of Love. I'm also just gonna add a little bit to the tip of my nose, as well as my Cupid's bow. Okay. Last but not least, no lip product, and I didn't want another lipstick in my collection, so I got this, which I can't open. Oh. This is the Cover Cover Girl O oh Sugar um, Lip Balm, and this is in the shade Caramel. This might be a little bit dark, but... Hmm. That's what it looks like on my hand. Um... If I hadn't had foundation all over my lips, it probably would have gone on a little bit better, but I don't hate the color entirely, so there's that. Is that everything? That is everything. Okay. Hey, zoom you guys in and show you guys this mess. So we already talked, it's for some reason, all the problems are on this side of my face. I don't know why. Um, so kind of up like this, you can kind of see what I'm saying about the foundation, the mascara. It did really well over here and then crashed and burned in this corner. Not sure why. The eyeliner on this side versus this side. I prefer my eyeliner. Why can't I say the word eyeliner? I prefer my eyeliner to look like this side rather than this side. So that's just my preference. The whole clinginess is weird. I don't know what the heck happened with that brow pomade, but I'm getting rid of it. Maybe it's gone bad. I don't know. I don't hate the lip product. Actually, I really like it. Very comfortable, easy to wear, very sheerly tinted, which is kind of nice. The eyeshadow palette, I'm going to have to play around with a bit more, but the scent of it did drive me absolutely insane. Like, I'm afraid to open it back up again right now. Um, I can't smell it on my eyes anymore, so at least the smell doesn't linger beyond having the palette open. Um, I know some people had complaints about that happening with their Too Faced palettes, which I've never had that issue with the Too Faced palettes. But at least it doesn't do that on my eyes. Um, but I am kind of sensitive to some sense, so I'm hoping that this doesn't make my eyes burn or itch or anything or whatever, but... I hate the smell though. Oof. It's like beyond sickly sweet, you know? Um, I actually really, really like this as a bronzer. I look very bronze goddess right now. I'm gonna pale my hand is next to my face. Um, I don't hate this as a bronzer. I know it's meant to be a blush, but the bronzer's idea of using it wasn't too bad. I mean, I did buy with the intention of it eventually being a blush. I'm going to assume that because of the nice pigmentation on the, on the one I used as a bronzer that this peach one will not be an issue either. I like the LA Girl blush. It's not too heavily pigmented, so it blends really nicely with everything. I actually really do like the LA Girl face powder. I'm going to have to try this out with some other foundations that I own. The highlighter for me right now is a fail. This, I just, I don't get it. It's like a mousse. It's like a whipped mousse texture and the opening of this is a little bit too small. If I were them I would have at least made the pot a little bit bigger and maybe not as deep so that you could fit like a beauty blender or something in there because if you have nails it's, just, it's gonna get all up under your nails like it just did for me and I'm gonna have to go now wash the underside of my nails out because it's filled with highlighter up under here. Um, the concealer I really liked actually. 
didn't crease. It worked well as an eye base. So I'm just going to have to keep testing this. Okay, guys. So that is everything. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to hit the subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos from me. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. And be sure to leave me your questions, comments, suggestions about this video and tell me if there's products at the drugstore that you're interested in seeing me try. If they're foundations, even better, leave them down below for that foundation frenzy that I'll be doing in the fall. And there's something else too. Follow me on social media. That's it. You can follow me on both Twitter and Instagram at kobeauty58. And if you want to, you can follow me on Musical.ly as well. I do have a Musical.ly. My name is Baby Kate O. And that is everything. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.